This evening, the group of detainees were freed from the Longkesh camp in what Northern Ireland officials describe as a gesture. It's the hope that this will persuade the provisional IRA to extend the 11-day ceasefire due to run out on Thursday night. And Mr. Rees, the Secretary of State, has indicated that if the truce goes on and violence ends, then all the provisionals detained in Longkesh could be released. I intend during January to set out more fully how the permanent cessation of violence would enable the army to make a planned, orderly, and progressive reduction in its present commitment. And how once violence has ceased and is seen to have ceased, it would also become possible for those who are detained to be progressively released. I must, however, also repeat that the actions of the security forces will continue to be related to the level of any activity that may occur. I am not going to act precipitately before I'm convinced that the opportunities are real and not illusory. Throughout the Christmas and New Year ceasefire, the troops have maintained their patrols in the provisionals areas. 25 men have been arrested and there have been weapons fines and house searches. But with no IRA activity for more than a week, the soldiers are considerably more relaxed as they move on the streets. None of the men released today are thought by the army to be major figures in the Republican movement. But already there have been a chorus of protests from Protestant politicians who have spoken of the stench of surrender, disgusting political games, and cornering the whole negotiations. But Mr. Rees has promised no relaxation of the army's efforts until a lasting peace has been worked out. In Belfast itself, the ceasefire has brought the crowd streaming back onto the streets and to the shops that have for so long been the targets for the IRA's bombs. People who have stayed clear of the city centre for years have taken advantage of the lull, and there does seem to be a very real sense of optimism that some sort of political movement is at last underway.